When I was in the seminary, I used to um, have the radio on because I wake up and listen to the news and, and there was a talk back show. Um, there was Ravi and Didi used to host this gold 104.3 and on that talk show uh, in the morning they, it was that particular year when the, the Magpies and the Saints uh, managed to get the finals and there was all this betting on who was going to get the premiership that year and uh, there was people calling in and all lots of discussions happening uh, and they called a psychic uh, to see if he could foretell who would be the one going to get the premiership that year and so they rang him and they, they spoke to him and they started the discussion and said who do you think uh, is going to get the premiership this year is it going to be the magpies uh, or the saints uh, and there was a bit of silence and then there was such an affirmative answer and, 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 the, and the psychic said it's the magpies and they said how can you be so certain he says well a magpie just flew across my window <laughs> And I think Didi said, how likely it is for a saint to walk past you. <laughs> and today we're celebrating All Saints Day. It's the vigil of the All Saints Day. And we thank God for such awesome men and women of faith who have used every opportunity that God gave them. The grace to live a holy life, to pursue a life of virtue, so today they are in heaven and we are honoring all these holy men and women. The two things I would like to talk about briefly about the saints. One is that their love for Jesus in the Eucharist. Every saint has this love for Jesus in the Eucharist. And every saint had a love for our Blessed Mother who enabled them to have a deeper love for Jesus. So that's the first thing. Without the Eucharist, these saints could never have become saints because they recognized full and well their weaknesses, their frailty, and their need for God's grace to live a virtuous life. And the Eucharist was the source and summit of their lives. So that is why they went to Mass faithfully, regularly, every day, to receive our Lord in Holy Communion so they can indeed be faithful to Him with the grace He gives them every day. And of the Beatitudes, the, the one thing that all the saints would have exemplified in was being merciful. The saints were merciful. They became saints not just the easy way. There was great suffering. There was persecution. They were thrown to the lions. They were beheaded, burnt at the stake. And others were living in convents with other nuns, monasteries with other brothers and priests and monks. And they were persecuted. Persecuted, others persecuted by their spouses, by their family, by their siblings, by their neighbors. And through all this persecution, these men and women learned to forgive time and time again, and they learned to show mercy. They learned to show mercy because they themselves first experienced mercy in their life. Throughout the Old and New Testament, the one thing that comes out time and time again is be merciful. Be merciful as your heavenly Father is merciful. God is so merciful to us, we don't deserve His mercy. What we deserve is justice for what we have done. And yet, God is always merciful. Every day, every moment and every day, we do things to offend God so much. And time and time again, God forgives us. God is merciful towards us. That is why He asks us to be merciful. It is so hard to forgive people. I mean, there are times people just upset me so much in the things they do and say. It hurts. 
But at the precise moment I have a choice to hold on to that hurt and brood over it. And that brooding and that hurting will only make me be harder. It won't let me forgive them. I'll be more upset with them. Every time I see them, I get angry at them. It's I'm losing my peace because I'm not forgiving them. It's so hard. It is not easy to be merciful. That is why we need to be close to the one who's always merciful towards us. Reminding ourselves of the great mercy shown to us every moment of every day. And if we recognize how merciful God is to us, if we realize the love that the Father lavishes upon us because we are his children, then with his help, we will be able to show mercy to others. It's easy to be just. It's very hard to be merciful. But it's not impossible. Because the saints have done it. The saints have done it. And they've only done it with God's help. The more they spend time with God, the more they realize how much they're loved by God, and how merciful God is towards them, they learn to be merciful to those around them. That is what made them saints. They were just like you and me. They had to have any special graces. They had the same grace that you and I receive every day. The grace to live a holy life. The grace to be merciful to others. It's only through a growth of holiness that we learn to be merciful towards those around us. So as we come to this Eucharist, let us pray for that grace, the grace to always love Jesus first. He who was merciful towards us and showed us the Father's mercy all his life is now in heaven praying for us. And we ask our Lord in heaven to continue to give us the grace each day to be able to grow in holiness and like the saints we too can be merciful to those who are around us. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit.